I'm starting this new phase in my life wherein I try standing still for a little while. It has me thinking a little bit about all of the things that have slipped by in my years of constant motion. I have this folder on my external hard drive filled with footage from different trips that I took, and I'm not sure what exactly I planned to do with all of it even at the time. I never really knew even when I was filming things, just that sometimes I'd be off on an adventure and think, I want to remember this, I want to hold on to this. And I wonder if maybe I've accidentally let go of those little things. I wonder if maybe I've failed myself somehow by not pinning those things down in a timely fashion. Sometimes I think about looking through it, but there's just so much and also nothing at the same time. I struggle a little bit to understand what my point was, why I decided that these were the things that I had to hold on to. I'm afraid that maybe it means that I lost something important. I think about all the tiny little moments and stories that I hold dear to as somehow defining moments, and what comes to mind first, a train ride to New York in 2008, a late night walk home from the metro in 2012, are moments that I captured somehow, moments that I made the conscious decision to hold on to. And so here I have this whole collection of memories, things that I really did think were important enough to capture, but which I have allowed to fade. If my understanding of myself is somehow intrinsically linked to all those tiny moments that I chose to hold on to, then how might the unconscious act of forgetting and letting go change who I am or who I understand myself to be? Maybe it changes everything and maybe it doesn't change anything. Probably the truth is something far less dramatic, something more innocently in the middle. Definitely the truth is that I am overthinking this. My friend John challenged me to spend the year making videos out of these old memories, in part because <laughs> clearly these things aren't entirely forgotten. They are there, waiting, and probably occupying headspace that could be dedicated to new things. We agreed to dust off our old memories and just see what's there make the things and let them go. And maybe by the end of it, I can rest assured that nothing truly precious was actually lost. So this counts as the first one, right, fam? Got him. Got him. <laughs> Nailed it.